Mike Tirico, $10 million a year. Stephen A. Smith, $12 million a year. Shannon Sharp, $3 million. And Michael Strahan, $17 million a year. All African-American sports analysts, or let's say anchors, Stephen A. Smith, actually an anchor, Mike Tirico, actually for NBC, Stephen A. Smith, ESPN First Take. Um, Shannon Sharp, $3 million. Now, for non-athletes or former athletes, Stephen A. Smith and Mike Tirico, justifiably, they do great. They do a great job at what they do. Whether you like them or not, they both do great jobs. Stephen A. Smith is, I think he, he and Skip Bayless make the same, $12 million a year. Non-athletes. The network of some of the athletes such as uh, Keyshawn Johnson or uh, what is this other guy's name that gets on my nerve when he talks? Kendrick, Ken, Kendrick Perkins. They're in the 17 to 20 million. And that's only because they play football. So their network is, is worth a lot more because of endorsements or, or playing, uh, you know, uh, for whatever it is that they did. Uh, Keyshawn, I understand probably, uh, I think he owned barbershops in Tampa, uh, maybe some, uh, restaurants or something like that but as far as them being analysts they're in the three million range like shannon sharp although shannon sharp is worth maybe 30 million net worth because of endorsements or whatever i say all this to say that outside of brandon marshall and a few others these guys all have clean cut hairdos, hidden tattoos, or tattoos removed, and a lot of them don't wear the bling, although Randy Moss can be seen wearing the bling. But NFL, which is a corporate organization, or the NBA, were corporate, when you go upstairs and you work for them, you basically need to Make yourself a little more presentable and be careful who your entourage is. And you also have to be careful about what you do and say on social media, Paul Pierce. And not knocking him at all. I don't think, he, you know, he do anything. Any of these other guys probably don't. But you do it when you work for an organization or a company, that brand I hate to say it like this, pretty much owns part of your life. That That's what it is. So as African-Americans, sometimes if you want to move up that corporate letter, if you want to be an anchor, if you want to be the Stephen A. Smiths and the Mike Tirico's, you, you might want to calm down on the bling. And unfortunately, you may have to cut your hair. I might get a lot of flack about this because, that, like I said, uh, I think Brandon Marshall and a few others. I, I can't. I, I think uh, I can't remember the other guys. They have dreads. Uh, Hushmandana. I think he, he he keeps his long hair. But my point is, Allen Iverson is wondering why he is not having a corporate position with the Philadelphia Six Seventy Sixers. And Allen Iverson says, "I know the game." I know how to scout. I know what players to look for and who to do what with. I have no idea why the Philadelphia 76ers has not brought me into their organization as either a mentor or uh, somewhere in the general management department to help them out. He's wondering why. Shannon Sharp says hair has nothing to do with it. But Michael Vick begs to differ. He lived it. He, he wears some of his bling, but he lived it. He says sometimes you got to just cut your hair and you got to just kind of like, you're not selling out. You're not selling out. I have dreads. They're long. Down my neck. 
right near my shoulders. I, if I felt that a position that I was trying to get was holding me back because of my hair, and, and by the way, it's illegal now. They cannot not hire you for your hair. My point is, if you want to move up in some of these corporate positions, you want to make the, the money that the Stephen A. Smiths, the Mike Taylor, even the Keyshawn Johnsons are making. Sometimes you got to do that. Allen Iverson's net worth. Former NBA superstar, Hall of Famer, MVP, led the league in scoring, multiple All-Pros, multiple All-Star teams, Endorsement with Reebok, his network. Get this, one million dollars. One million dollars. Shannon Sharp is making three million just on doing the show Undisputed uh, alone. But Iverson, if you want to get in the corporate office, you might have to tone it down. I know it's not a popular thing to say right now. I have dreads. I have dreads. Don't plan on cutting them. Work for a security company in a school district. No tattoos, but let's say I wanted to go to school, educate myself, and move up the ladder and become superintendent or something like that. Yeah. Public school systems a little literal, literal and, uh, you know, they, 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 they will be accepting of it. Not everyone's like that. Not every corporate, uh, you, you know, company in America is going to accept this. So sometimes guys might have to do that. It's unpopular. But don't sit up and question I don't know why the, the the Philadelphia 76ers front office don't have me in their organization. I can't do anything but help them. Charles Barkley and Shaq had personalities. Michael Strahan had personalities. They're funny. They know how to please the crowd. A lot of people might say they're cooning. But they enjoyed themselves playing in their days and they knew what they had to do to move up and get a job afterwards. So, so uh, Terrell Owens and Ocho Cinco or, or Chad Johnson, whatever you want to call yourselves, just keep on being the rebellious little kids that you are. Iverson, keep your entourage around and keep your bling and your throwbacks and get more and more tattoos uh, behind your neck, on your eye, on your shoulder, and then sit there and you guys wonder why you don't. Anyway, I can go on all day, but that's just my rant for a day. Leave me in a comment in the comment section and uh, let me know what you think. It's neither here nor there for me. I can care less. I'm not making even Iverson's one million. This is a Waters rant.